All right, you guys, so once again, I am trying to recreate the uh, Applebee's queso burger, only this time, I have more supplies. I have more supplies. Not the best, but I have more supplies. And I will be using the sandwich maker that Kelly got me. Oh, my God, and it's red. If you didn't notice, it's red. Oh, my God, I'm so excited. Thank you. I love it. Um, and listen, I know that it's, like, technically a sandwich maker, but... I could make a quesadilla burger in it because, I mean, it'll just have some triangles on it. I think that this is the perfect tool for it. So I'm super excited. I'm opening it up. Look how shiny it is. I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. And I'm letting you know, you know, that I'm using these um, wraps. And my husband had to get um, low-carb wraps because that's, like, all the store had. Um, and so now I'm just frying up the burgers, and I'm actually going to cut them to size the tortillas with my, uh, my new kitchen scissors. I love them, so I'm cutting them, like, to kind of, it won't fit perfectly, but just to make them a little smaller, so it's not like I have this huge, you know, wrap, and then this, or tortilla in this, um, little burger. Um, alright, so I'm just doing that, and honestly, it was pretty fun cutting them, to be honest. I love kitchen scissors. So now I'm just, uh, rubbing the queso on. And I actually had this really awesome Applebee's employee reach out to me and help me um, learn how to make them. And I got to tell you, I tried my best, but I probably did it absolutely wrong. <laughs> but I think I did not follow the rules. But thank you anyways. I still appreciate it. So now I'm putting some uh, four cheese Mexican cheese on. There we go. And now I'm like, do I really want to put lettuce on this? Won't it taste kind of rank? But then I'm like, but I think like sometimes those burgers have lettuce right i don't know oh my god so look 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 it's doing it it's doing it it's do i can hear it sizzle you can't but i can and i'm like hmm is this working and oh my god it looks so good oh my god i want to show you oh shit i forgot that it's hot my bad but oh my god it looks so good look at that it came out really good i love this thing oh my god Okay, you guys, so I wanted to do a video on this because um, in one of my last videos, I used uh, brown sugar, and you guys were, like, amazed that I took it out of the freezer. Um, and it's so funny because until I posted that video, I kind of just thought everybody did because that's how I grew up, keeping it in the freezer. <laughs> um, but um, after I, you know, looked into it, I guess that is a good way to preserve it is in the freezer. Um, I do know one way that I recognize, like, you know, as a one way, one benefit of keeping this in the freezer is that I have kept it out of the freezer like once or twice by accident and um it clumps very easily but like when it's out of the freezer when it clumps it kind of crystallizes in my experience and so like it's harder to work with but let me show you something and look at this cute little bowl it's a little okay I'm gonna get like a big chunk of it if I can find one Okay, I think I got one. See this big chunk? Now, usually in my experience, if it was out for a while, it'd be crystallized and you couldn't really use it that well. But look, it just crumbles. It crumbles right off. Right when it hits room temperature. And it's very, what do you call it? Malleable? <laughs> Malleable? Is that what you call it? I don't know. I just find it much easier to work with, and it pres it does preserve it for a long time, although brown sugar really preserves for a long time anyways. But look at that. So yeah, that's why I keep it in the freezer. I think it's a good idea. Alright, you guys. Um, So, <laughs> my husband wanted me to make him coffee, and with these, we also got this honey. It is Mike's Hot Honey Infused with Chilies. My husband wants it in his coffee. In his coffee. I'm not tasting it. I mean, I'd taste this on, like, something else, like, like, savory, you know what I mean? But not coffee. I'm not doing it with coffee. <laughs> Alright, so I'm putting it in. Crunch. Doo. I, myself, would like to try this on chicken wings. Um, sometime, my husband doesn't like chicken wings. He don't eat anything on a bone. Um, this is a chef's bottle. No. No, this is a chef's... Look, chef's bottle. This is a chef's bottle. It is. I don't know. They said it was really good stuff. I don't think it's a coincidence that it ended up in my hands. <laughs> That's awesome. 
Oh, enjoy on pizza, fried chicken, cheese, tea, salad, ice cream, fruit, roasted veggie, seafood, yogurt, ribs, oatmeal, cocktail. Notice it doesn't say coffee. <laughs> it says tea, but not coffee. So it's made with honey and chili peppers. Are you going to drink it in front of the camera? Are you, do you want whipped cream on it? Okay. All right, you guys. My husband, he has holes in his shirt. He won't get rid of that shirt because I got it for him. It's a, is it a Pickle Rick shirt? Yeah. He won't get rid of it. You know, Rick and Morty brings back a lot of memories for us because our first chickens were named Rick and Morty. And also, one, like the first year he was here, I had the flu and we were watching Rick and Morty and I puked everywhere. It's romantic. <laughs> How do you, oh, it probably has a seal. Am I running out of time? I'm always terrified I'm going to run out of time. You're getting there. No, hold on. Oops. Oh, do I need to cut it? Sometimes you have to cut it. Hold on. We're going to figure this out. You're not. You're supposed to try it on camera. Stop. All right. Some whipped cream. All right. Now you take the lead. <laughs> Don't make fun of the holes. It's special. <laughs> <laughs> How is it? That's good. Leave your nose. Yeah, I know. I got you like it? Nose. Does it taste hot? Oh, you're going to put more on. Ooh, got a that... little spice. It's nice. Does it? It's a sweet spice, yeah. Can I taste just like... Oh, that's not that hot. No, it's just a little sweet spicy. It's a yes from us. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'm going to be making some barbecue chicken um, over rice, minute rice. Um, I'm going to be using Sweet Baby Ray's. Um, but my husband is making me add some brown sugar to it, even though I don't personally think it needs it, but it did, did come out very good. Um, I'm using this, uh, chicken, some mushrooms. I'm gonna find a way to make it work. Oh, I forgot an onion. Here's the onion. Um, now watch, I'm gonna try to do a transition. Ready? 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 Let's try. Let's try. Oh, transition master. All right. And now I'm going to make these uh, noodles for Roman. Um, they are called Ness. I was informed by you guys they were called Ness. And listen, when I used to be at camp, I used to have really, my natural hair is very curly and thick. And uh, this one bitch used to call me Ness because of my hair. And man, if I didn't know she was leading a miserable life right now, I swear to shit, I would wish it on her. But now I don't. I hope she gets better. I don't know, kind of, maybe. Anyways, here's the brown sugar. So I'm putting that in. There we go. Whoops, too much. Nah, forget. Okay. Now I'm going to put some of this in, and then I forgot you can just... No, I didn't know. I'm... I didn't know, really. So I'm just going <laughs> to twist it open. Um, and then put... I put a lot of it in. You can see my ring light in the uh, reflection of the bowl. There we go. I was going to add some seasoning, but man, you, sweet baby rays don't really need it. So there's all the mushroom and onion. I should have done peppers too. I didn't think of that. By the way, this is my new bowl that has a red cover. I love it. It has a bunch of them. There's like, I think three or four of them. I love them. So now watch. <laughs> watch. So I put the lid on. And then I start shaking it, but I always like to see what it looks like when I shake these things in fast mo. <laughs> so I'm going to do that, okay? This is slow mo, regular mo. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> All right, so I'm putting everything on, and um, it looks really good, to be honest. It tasted really good. Um, I am not going to mess with it, really, because I feel like you should just leave it. You know what I mean? If it's messy, just freaking leave it, let it be. So there it is. And now I'm doing the minute rice. I have it in a bowl because I accidentally put it in the pan first. Pot, sorry. Look how it looks. Oh, shit, something's burning. Look how it looks purple, though. Oh, crap. I burned the fucking vegetables. No, I'll figure it out. I'll save the pan. Don't worry. This is my first time cutting meat with this knife. Look at it. Look at it. I love this pan. I'm going to save it. Please don't think I won't. I like my rice plain. It's okay. I don't like it seasoned. I like it plain, butter, salt. That's friggin' it. All right, you guys, Roman and I are going to be cooking some strawberry cake with Funfetti frosting. And, hey, where are you going? And we're using um, the new mixer that we got. He snorts sometimes. I don't, okay. So we're using the mixer we got from Terry and Kindle. And the minute I opened this, he was like, oh, my God. So that's why I asked him if he wanted to cook with me. Um, you ready to make some cake? Okay. Okay, so we're not going to use eggs in this because I can't eat eggs, so we're going to um, do some olive oil. I'm substituting some. Oh, there's my husband. All right, you ready? We're going to put 
a cup in. Here we go. I'm going to hand it to you. By the way, guess who I got these from? They're from Kelly. And they're red, and so is the mixer. Do you like that we have all red stuff? Oh, God. If Roman had it his way, it'd be black. He's decided that's his new favorite color. All right, so here. Can you hold with, like, a firm grip? How about I put it down and you grab it? That way you can grab it how it works for you. Can you grab this? Okay. Nope, that's not how we're going to do that. <laughs> All right. Good job. Awesome. Good job. Yay. Yay you did it. All right. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yay. You did a great job. I know that uh, sometimes you're supposed to do the wet ingredients first, but that's okay. We can just put this in and then I'll get some water. Ready? You want to put this in? All right. Awesome job. Are you singing a tune while you uh, put it in there? Okay. All right. That's a good job. I'm going to get these. Hey, it's okay. You want to know something? This is how it looks after I cook. You can ask them. Oh, we're not going to put it on yet. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go get water, and I'm going to be watching you like a hog. Do not push it. You watch him, too. Okay. You're going to put... Oh, okay. It's all right. Okay. Good job. Now it's ready to stir. So I'm going to press the tilt button so it's in there. Can you switch this to one? Wow! So the l sound was kind of loud, so he's going to put on his headphones. Uh, he has his headphones on. So are you ready? Okay. All right, we're going to lift it up, and then I'm going to put it in a pan, and then we'll show you when we're done, all right? Okay. Okay. We're going to do a part two. All right, you guys, this is part two of us making um, a strawberry cake, and I just wanted you to see Roman's getup. He's got an oven mitt, his earmuffs, because this mixer, I love it. I absolutely love it. Terry, it is an oven mitt. Terry and Kindle got this for us, but um, it's an oven mitt. Terry and Kindle got us this, and um, we absolutely love it, and when Roman saw it, he just needed to cook with it. So he's super excited. Our cake is in the oven. What does that say? What does it set at? Three, best. 350 and I'll have you know that he combined it all the ingredients himself combined um, and hey he left less of a mess than I would have so did you just say we're doing a dance project um it's just a screen project it's just a screen project screech screech project, project? you're gonna start screeching okay no <laughs> He's already checking on the cake like it's almost there. It's only been like two minutes. <laughs> All right, we're going to frost it with this funfetti stuff. Um, are you excited? Okay. Okay, now I don't have a, like, frosting, you know, utensil. Unless it is, and I just don't know it, but I don't think so. So... I'm going to put this in a glob, and then I'm going to have you, like, actually frost it, okay? <laughs> you frost it. Oh. <laughs> or do you want me to frost it? You do the sprinkles. It's kind of hard. Somebody said to microwave it, but... Too hard. Yeah, I know. But then wouldn't it make, like, wouldn't that defeat the purpose of cooling it? I don't know. I know. Okay, I'll finish this, then we'll do the sprinkles. Sprinkle. It is sprinkles. Do you think you can sprinkle them on evenly, like? Okay. Thank you. You opened it more. Good job. Good job. What about some over here? Yeah. Awesome. And you know what? We can just spread it out like that. Look at that. Are you excited about the cake you made? Okay. And you're going to eat some? Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you for joining us. Can you say thank you? Thank you. <laughs> Have a good night. 
Hey, everybody, come make lunch with my family with me. No, wait, for my family, my bad. Okay, so now I got this uh, pizza from yesterday left over that Roman will have, but it's in these really long, long pieces, so I definitely am going to have to cut it in half. Um, I mean, you can have the whole thing. I just, it's really long. So I got my pizza cutter. It's not my new one, but it does work. So there we go. Look at that. Perfect. And um, he's going to be having some ginger ale, of course. Um, ginger ale does not need to be thickened because it's carbonated and he can have carbonated drinks without thickener. Um, yes, we have looked into a soda stream and everything. I don't think it's for us, but, um, I will probably honestly give that to him for dinner. Um, if he doesn't want what we're having, which I'm guessing he will not, um, that's life. Okay, so now I'm making my husband and eyes and look what we're having, of course, imitation crab. Who would have thought? Nobody. No. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out how to open it. Oh, whoops. Well, that's all right. Okay, so I'm splitting them up. Now, I don't think my husband wants his cut up because he likes, I think, eating them whole. I think that's why he bought these. Um, so I'm giving three of each to us. Um, but then I noticed one of them has, like, a bubble on it, which I know. I know that that's probably just condensation, but I can't, I can't bring myself to eat it. So now I'm debating, do I want to give it to my husband? Do I want to put it back in the package? And I go with putting it back in the package. Okay. Um, and so I gave myself a new one. I'm cutting mine. Um, but like I said, he's going to have his hole. And he did say he was glad I left it, so that's good. I made the right call. Um, so I'm cutting it up. Do, do, do with my one of my new knives that I love because it's red. Everything's red. Whoops. Uh, this is going to be that cathedral cheese. Um, we've honestly bought it like three or four times in the past like a uh, couple weeks because it's so good. Um, and so I'm just going to use the same knife because I mean I'm not like the block of cheese is all getting used so it doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm just cutting it up. I'm going to cut it into squares. Do, do. There we go. Now I'm going to do the same thing for my husband's plate. And I'm showing you that it's Cathedral City Cheese, I believe. Um, it's, like I said, extra mature English cheddar cheese. It's very good. Um, it is very crumbly, but it, it's very good. It's very flavorful, very rich. I really like it. It's not like plasticky like some, you know, cheeses. Cabot comes to mind. The, they have some of those. Oh, my Himalayan salt. By the way, I like Cabot. It's just some of their cheeses are plasticky. Okay. So now, my husband is probably seething with rage because he's from Vermont. Okay, so I'm put it being, putting him a link. All right, you guys, I'm going to be making some homemade pork fried rice. Um, except I tweaked it a little bit because, uh, you know, lack of ingredients and just desire to do so. <laughs> so look it, I saved the pan. I didn't save it. My mom and my husband saved it. Okay, so I just put some nonstick just in case. I got some pork here I'm going to bake. It's a little frozen. It's okay. All right. There we go. All right. So I'm just putting it on the pan and I'm going to put it in for, I think I did it for 400 and then for 25. I don't know. So here's some Himalayan salt. I didn't really season it much because I'm going to put a lot of sauces and stuff into the, uh, you know, rice itself and everything. So look at my little cute little jar. So I'm getting the water. Hold on. All right, so I'm putting the water in to get the rice ready. There we go. And then I'm like, do you need to wash um, measuring cups when you just use water? I mean, that seems redundant, right? Why do it? I don't know. So now I'm putting rice in, so obviously I will no. wash them. But what is the matter? Hold on. All right, so I didn't have sesame oil. I only had peanut oil, um, but it still came out really good. And by the way, all that stuff I'm letting you know is just like leftover pork. So whatever, more flavor. Um, all right, so I forgot that this is new and I got to open it. So I am just, okay, <laughs> now we got it. So I'm putting some of this, but only a little bit because um, they said to use olive oil as well. So here's some olive oil and I could not open it. I had to get my husband's help, unfortunately. Okay, so <laughs> here we go. Oh, there he is helping me. He's just repeating me. He does not need help. He is sitting next to me waiting for Eli to get us cupcakes from the store, okay? All right, so I put the pork and the cut up onions, and I didn't have peas. And to be honest, when you have ducks, you're if you have ducks, you would never want to eat peas again. Listen, I know I shouldn't do this. Yes, I should. It came out great. I put the Mike's Hut um, honey sauce in. Oh, my God. It was so good. This was the closest I've ever gotten to... Oh, two farm fresh eggs that my house chicken laid. And then I wanted to see if there was a bullseye. 
And then I thought I saw one, so I was going to show you. But then I'm like, wow, that was a dumb move because it's my friggin' house chicken. There's no rooster in here. So I'm adding some soy sauce, and I added, it, you know, the egg. Look at it, it's beautiful. It was really good. The closest I've gotten to it. It was. Hey, everybody, I hope you're having a good night. So I have my new cutting board again. Listen, my husband informed me. Sorry, I just rinsed it off. My husband informed me that uh, these spikes are not actually to keep it in place. It's actually to hold meat in place. I had no idea. It's, a, it's meant to hold meat while you cut it. I think it's in these like lines or so you cut it evenly. Um, I'm going to try it out. I'm going to try it out. I really don't know what I'm doing. It's a little hot. Um, to be honest, I put it in the freezer for a few seconds, but anyways, um, so I'm just pushing it in, and I got my meat knife, oh my god, look at that, they're all coming out even, and it is staying in place, I think even if I didn't hold it, it would stay in place, it's a little hot, but look at that, it's all in like, it, it wasn't hard, like I didn't feel like I had to get my knife in the grooves, like it just slid naturally. I think this cutting board is by Joseph Joseph, and um, it's not sponsored, nothing I do is sponsored. Um, yet anyways, and I doubt it'll ever happen because I don't like people telling me what the hell to do. Um, Alright, so, look at that, completely even. That's awesome. That is so cool. So now... I'm seeing if I can do it this way. I moved them all in a line. I want to see if I can do it this way. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So I had a little difficulty because honestly, I don't think I should have done it this way. <laughs> so it wasn't as good that way, but listen. Now watch. It did do it though, but watch. Am I doing this next? Okay. So I'm going to try to show you how like it stays in place. See? Now watch. Listen, that was a foul. It only came off because my knife. But look, now I want to show you something. Am I getting to it already? All right, here we go. So watch. No hands, no hands. It slides right through. No hands, no hands, no hands. All right. Now look, I put it on the flat surface. Try to do the same thing. It moves. So it does work. I freaking love this. I had no idea. I freaking love it. Oh my. All right, you guys, I'm making some homemade crab rangoon for dinner, and I got some cream cheese. Whoops. It's the store brand. I usually don't buy it. They didn't have Philadelphia. I like store brand everything else. So here's some wonton wrappers um, and some chive, some fresh chive. And then I have my bowl and my spoon and some imitation crab. And listen, I know everybody makes this differently. This is just how my husband and I make it. Um, so I'm going to put the cream cheese in, um, and then I'm going to soften it in the microwave, but obviously I am struggling hard right now. Um, it gets worse not to spoil it, but all right. So then I'm just getting it in the bowl. I love these bowls. Um, they came with covers. I have like, I think three or four of them and, um, I absolutely love them. I use them all the time. I'm so terrified I'm going to lose the lids because I do that sometimes. But, oh my god, I love these bowls. All right. Having technical difficulties. Oh, and it's all softened now. Um, I think it took like a minute, maybe a minute and 15 seconds in the microwave. So I'm cutting up the chive with my kitchen scissors, which I love. All right. So then I got the imitation crab. And it's the flake kind. But I am still going to end up having to cut it up a little bit. Um, I know other people would probably want to cut it up a little bit more, but I don't mind if it's chunky. I love this stuff. You see me eat it all the time. All right, so I'm using my kitchen scissors for that, too. They get washed. It's fine, all right? So I'm doing all of that. Do -do. Now I'm just mixing it up, and it's going to take a while, so I think I, like, turn the camera off and say, you know what, just, just let me take care of this, and then I'll be back, all right? Um, so that's coming. There it goes. Look at that. So... Um, I actually don't seal them. I know you can seal them with water, butter, whatever. Um, I don't because I brush them with olive oil and on honestly that makes them stick. So it's like, I just don't, I just don't do it. <laughs> so there we go. That's how they come out. And I just kind of keep doing it. Now I'm going to just brush them with some olive oil. And I'm going to be cooking these in the air fryer, in my new air fryer. I love it. Oh my God. And they cook so fast. Um, I don't like mine like super cooked um i actually like them when they're barely cooked but my i have to cook them a little bit more for my family so all right i'm getting them all and i love this little brush i got i love it now they're going in the air fryer my red air fryer i love it so i put it on and that's what they look like i made some uh pork fried rice as well i hope you're having a good night <laughs>